All right, somebody asked me this question, Nurse Mercy Mary, what is the difference between the genotype and the blood group? The genotype and the blood group, what are their importance? Why should I know my genotype and why should I know my blood group? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurse's Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, we are going to be talking about the difference between the genotype and the blood group. The importance of knowing your genotype and the importance of knowing your blood group. Why you should know them the same way you know your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. The same way you know your letters and also your numbers. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not mess mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today we're going to be discussing blood group and genotype what is the difference between blood group and genotype and the importance why you should know your blood group why you should know your genotype first of all what is the genotype the genotype is simply the genetic makeup of an individual what is making this individual up why the blood group is talking about the different types of blood in the human my genotype is my genetic makeup what is making miss mary up why my blood group is a type of blood flowing in me the type of blood flowing in me now, I want you to know that there are different types of genotypes. Yeah, we have the gene AA, we have the AS, and we have the AC. For those that don't know, there is C. There is something called C. We have the AC, we have the SS, we have the SC, and we have the CC. These are the different types of what? The different types of the genotype. There are six different types. Then in terms of the blood group, we have eight. We have eight in numbers. We have the A positive and the A negative. We have the B positive and the B negative. We have the AB positive and the AB negative. And we have the O positive and the O negative. So you now know the genotype and you now know the blood group. Then in terms of the genotype, the genotype is found in every cell. Why the blood group, as I said, is found on the outside of the cell, of the red blood cells, I mean. The genotype is what determines, it helps to determine the different characteristics, such as the height of an individual, the color of my hair, the color of my eye. These are the things that the genotype helps to dis, uh, determine. They, dis, they determine characteristics, they determine how you look. But in terms of the blood group, they are just talking about the blood. What is the blood? The ABO and the red sox factor. That is what the blood group is talking about. So for those asking, what are the importance of this knowledge? Why should I know my blood group? Why should I check? It is important you know your genotype. Let me start with the genotype. It is important you know your genotype so you don't give birth to children that are sickle cell. Yes, it is important you know your genotype so you don't give birth to children that are suffering from sickle cell anemia. Because we all know after the whole crossbreeding process, AS getting married to AS, there's a possibility of them giving birth to a sickle cell child. SS getting married to AS, there's a possibility of them giving birth to a sickle cell child. So once you know your genotype, it is easier to avoid such mistake and it is easier to avoid bringing children into the world and causing them pain. Then why should I know my blood group? In terms of the blood group, you should know your blood group because it will help during blood transfusion. If you want to transfuse a blood, they have to check for compatibility. If your blood is compatible with the next person's blood for blood transfusion to take place. So knowing your blood group is important when it comes to blood transfusion and also paternity tests. Yes, it is very, very important. So you can see that knowing your blood group and genotype, it's very important ignore the siren thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not saying thank you bye and see you in our next video